Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about product research for Amazon FBA and actually an awesome, awesome product research method that I found, uh, well, basically, that, that helped me find a product today in just about five minutes, um, maybe even less. It was just an idea and that kind of sparked it and it took about five minutes to figure it out. Um, but my goal for today is to teach you how to just think outside the box um, to find products to sell on Amazon and not make mistakes that I see so many people make um, to this day. This video is for people that are looking to earn money online using Amazon FBA. So if that is you and you want to do private labeling and Amazon FBA no matter what country you're in, then this video is for you. Make sure you stay till the end because I'm going to be showing you how you actually can learn all these things uh, kind of super quickly. So. For anyone that is new to the channel, thank you so much. Um, say hey in the comments if you if you kind of just subscribed, and of course subscribe if you're not already. Turn on those notifications so you can get notified when I go live and all my uploads. And of course, like the videos, smash that shit, and comment um, with any questions that you get throughout. Okay, so let's crack right into it. I've got some notes. I don't want to miss anything off. So these are mistakes I see people make with product research. I just want to go over these first before I tell you actually how I found this product, okay? It's important you know this stuff. So mistakes I see people make time and time and time and time and time again is, first of all, they only use one product research method. So they only use Jungle Scout web app, right? And don't even consider looking at any other way to do product research because, you know, that's the only way to do it. Um, Unfortunately, guys, you know, you can find products just using Jungle Scout, but I would highly recommend just understanding, at least understanding or having an awareness of other product research strategies, okay? Because you never know where you're going to find that product that might earn you a grand, two grand, three grand a month, okay? Now, if you were, if I said to you, um, like, you know, you, you could have found that product, you could have found the product that I found today, right? You could have found it, but you didn't because you weren't looking for it in the way that I was looking for it, maybe. Okay, because I've never seen this product on Jungle Scout ever. Um, so the same thing, people people don't experiment. Okay, you need to experiment, and this comes down to things like Jungle Scout, and when you're using, like you're looking at um, kind of different sales volumes, reviews, and all that sort of stuff. You need you need to experiment and just give it a go, like think outside the box and just experiment with numbers and don't be worried about, you know, it, am I wasting my time looking at this kind of category or something? Just do it and then you'll find out if there's products there or not. But if you never do it, you'll never know. Um, so always be curious if you're doing product research and this is important guys, do the maths, right? Don't just go for a, like a gut feeling, do the maths as quick as possible because if you do the maths and it's not profitable, you need to get rid of that product and you need to just just forget about it and find another one. So do the maths always. Again, I, don't, I see people get too involved within a product, and then actually I ask them, have they done the maths? Have they worked out how much the VAT and the custom duty and the delivery is gonna be? And they say no. And I was like, well, you need to do that because there's no point continuing if there's no profit in there for you, or there's not enough profit in there for you. So always do the maths, uh, learn multiple ways of doing product research, always be curious and just be open to anything, okay? So let me, let me uh, explain how I found the product today, okay? And this product, just so you guys know, I've done the maths, it should earn me anywhere between eight and 10 pounds profit per unit, which is pretty good, by the way, is pretty good. It's kind of a golden nugget find. Um, again, in dollars, that could be anywhere, I think it's like $15 or something, or 12 or $13, I don't know. But it's, it's a good amount of profit per unit. And uh, this, is, this is kind of how I've done this, and it's, Again, the product research strategy I've done for a while, but today it kind of kind of clicked. Um, so the first thing is what I do is I look at things that I use and others use every single day. So in the kitchen, I will look, what do I use every single day? Is it something that I can private label? Is it something that I can look at online? Maybe. On my desk, are there things here that are private labelable? Um, you know, in behind me, any of that shit over there? Is that can I private label any of that stuff? all my stuff in my living room, all the things that people use around me, all the time I'm thinking about, can I private label this product? Is it, does it meet my criteria in terms of size and weight and kind of breakability and stuff like that? And then just write it down if you're not near a computer or jump onto a computer straight away and find out. Right? Don't just gather ideas and never, never do the research, never do the maths, just find out straight away. So do that, look at things that you and others use every single day. 
Um, and the reason every single day is because there's going to be there's going to be a high search volume. If it's used often, that means that there'll be a lot of people searching for it, a lot of people buying it. And we want what we want to do is find that golden product where it's got those things, but the reviews and the competition is very low. So that's what we're looking for. Um, kind of second thing you need to do when you buy anything, anything online doesn't matter if it's from Amazon or when you go into a shop and you buy anything, just think about it. Can I private label this product? Is this potentially something I can private label? Is it something I can sell on Amazon? Write it down in your notes on your phone. When you get back to computer, use Jungle Scout to look at the numbers and then assess it if it's gonna be a good viability or good product for you. That's exactly what I did, okay? So I bought something the other day. It wasn't from Amazon. I just bought it because I needed it. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if this product will sell well on Amazon. Uh, it's, it's private labelable. Um, and I looked at it and, and the kind of numbers just came out straight away and I was like, yep, this is a good product. I'm going to go find some, some quotes for it. So the next thing you need to do is take action immediately. Once you find a product that has good numbers, it's got kind of high sales, low reviews, a kind of good weight. It's, you can private label it. You might have, um, some of the listings are not very good. So you can improve on the listings, improve on the pictures. Then you need to take action immediately. Go onto Alibaba, start getting quotes. So the first thing I did when I was like, Ooh, I should look at the numbers. I looked at them. Literally the first thing I did was jump onto Alibaba and I uh, had my template, my supplier template, which I've created. And I have a really specific, um, negotiation tactic, which I start from the very beginning from the first contact. And, uh, I reached out to, I think it was about 35 or 40 suppliers. So I just smashed through and messaged as many people as I could. Now the reason I'm doing that is I want replies and I want a vast amount of replies so I can compare prices. So from doing that, this product, again, without giving you exact specifics, um, in the UK, it's about three pound 50 ish landed in the UK. And uh, that's without negotiation as well. I have not got negotiated a single bit yet. It's too early to negotiate. And the selling price could be anywhere between 16 and 20 pounds. It depends on if I bundle, it depends on the quality of product, okay? So again, I, it might be a higher cost per unit. It might be five pounds a unit, in which case I could probably sell it for 20 pounds. So it, it really does depend. Um, the shipping cost, you wanna get the shipping cost straight away. And again, you wanna get it from as many suppliers as possible because I found that the shipping costs ranged from the people that got back to me really quickly. Uh, it ranged from $140 to $250 for the same ship for the same product shipped to the UK. So obviously now I know my standard price, or well, the lowest price I've received so far, again, unnegotiated, is $140. So I'm thinking, cool, $150 or $150 to $170 is probably what I'm going to be paying for my shipment. Um, and that gives you uh, gives you somewhere to work towards to creating your profitability, right? I'm not going to go with someone that charges me $250 unless they have a really good product and the product is cheaper and it makes up for the fact that they have more expensive shipping. Um, so yeah, shipping costs you need to work out super quick. Um, fees, duty, FBA fee, all that sort of stuff. So as soon as you have the cost of shipping and the cost of the unit unnegotiated, you can then work out the amount of customs duty you have to pay and the amount of VAT you have to pay. Um, and then also your FBA fee as well. So after you've done all that, it only takes a few minutes to work those things out. Um, again, I have videos on how to work these out. Then you can have your landed cost, okay? You are not even your landed cost, your fulfilled cost as well. Once you work that out, you have your you have your potential profit earnings. And um, always remember to kind of budget something for PPC. Um, but yeah, so that, you have your earnings. At that point, you can decide if it's gonna be a good product. If it's the case that it's, it's all right, then you need to negotiate the price for it to be a good product, right? If it's already a good product, then you're onto a winner because you can still negotiate um, and you can make a better listing or you could even bundle a product and sell at the same price as everyone else. You bundle an extra product in, you just, it just eats into your profit margin, but it's okay because you've got more profit and you're more likely to make sales because you have a bundled product. So those are things you all need to think about. So here's the kind of, here's the kicker guys, right? If, if I can sell just 150 of these a month, okay, just 150 of these a month, I will be making conservatively about 1200 pounds, right? Conservatively 1200 pounds profit per month. So here's a question to you. How would another, again, let's even drop that again, right? Let's drop that even further. How would an extra thousand pounds a month affect your life, right? How would an extra 12,000 pounds a year would it make, how would it make a difference? Obviously you would want to reinvest in that in the company so you can make 300 sales a month, 400 sales a month, depends on the search volume. 
But how would that money affect you? Would it would it mean that you can go self-employed? Would it mean that you can go part-time? Would it mean that you can go out on you know more kind of go to more holidays? Like just think about that money, guys. That is a life-changing amount of money. Like I want to have multiple products like this so that I can be earning about twenty to thirty thousand dollars a month by the end of next year. Uh, if you saw my, my video of my goals, then go ahead and check that out. And yeah, about 30, I want to do $30,000 next December, next Christmas. And this is my strategy, right? I'm going to go for products exactly like this, which they can earn me a minimum of a, a, minimum of a grand a month. And I can scale them up towards the end of next year. Just think about that. Think about that. How, what would you do if you had that money? Um, it'd be, you know, it'd be fantastic. I know it would. So what you need to do, guys, is if you're on the fence, you're watching my videos and you're thinking, oh, I really want to get into FBA, right? Strike while the iron is hot. Don't be that person that looks back and goes, oh, I wish I had of whatever, right? I wish I had done this when I had the opportunity. Like, I'm that guy. I was that guy a year ago or even not even that, six months ago. Like, I wish I started this at the beginning of last year when I first knew about it. I didn't for some reason. I just don't know why I didn't. Like, yeah. So someone said on one of my uh, my Instagram live streams today, act now and do something your future self will thank you for. Right? Act now and do something your future self will thank you for. This is exactly one of those things. Online entrepreneurship, e-commerce. Do something now that will pay you in a year, a two years time, and it will completely change your life. Like, it will completely change your life. And um, do something rather than don't do something. Don't be that person that just procrastinates and thinks about doing something, but never does. Um, you know, I've been that person, I know exactly what that's like, I know how it feels, but also I know how it feels to take action and how incredible it feels when you actually, you make things happen. When you make your first sale on Amazon, it's just the best feeling ever. Like when you make your first affiliate commission, it's the best thing ever. Like when you sell your first digital product, it is the best feeling ever. So don't be that person that sits and waits, Just Go and do it because you will thank yourself in the future. Um, so I think the other thing I wanted to mention is that you know information is good. Like you, you can get information online, but guidance is one of the biggest things that you can get. And I truly believe in investing in yourself um, is is super important because time does not replenish. Right? I've, I've been over this in a couple of videos now. It's probably I think it's my favorite saying now that time doesn't replenish and money does. Right? You pay for you pay money out for something you get that money back because you can earn more, right? Money money replenishes itself. Time does not. If you miss like a train, if you if you go and do something that takes you four hours, you're never going to get that time back. It doesn't replenish. You can't get back that time. So what I believe in is taking courses, uh, learning from people so that you don't have to waste time and spend time when you could have just spent a bit of money, which you can replenish in exchange for time, right? That that's That's my big thing, guys, right? Just, just think about that. Your time is more important than your money, okay? Because money can be earned, time, you cannot earn time, right? So if you want to know how to do all of this, if you want to know how to do everything, then if you follow me, you will know that I have an Amazon FBA UK course, which goes super in depth with all of this stuff. I'm probably gonna have a few people that are in the course come on the channel in the next couple of weeks to give their thoughts. Um, but I wanted to give them a kind of week or two to actually go through the course fully because it's about it's about four or five hours in total and um, super, super filled with content. Um, but what I'm actually gonna do, I'm just gonna show you the modules within the course because I believe I have the most comprehensive product research strategy out there at the moment, um, particularly with bundling and all this sort of stuff that I go into. So I'm just going to show you the back end now. And if you want to get involved, remember that you get my personal support with this. You get a private Facebook uh, group for the support. And actually, I do have a free Facebook group if uh, it's the second link in the description. And I again believe this is the best course um, out there at the moment, espe like especially for UK and Europe sellers. And you get all my support as well. So the link is first link in the description if you do want to get it. But I'm just going to show you the back end now. All right, guys. So uh, once you have opted in, and again, first link in the description, once you're in, um, you're, first of all, you're going to be able to get access to the private Facebook group, um, which is going to be in this first video here. You'll also be able to opt in for a special mastermind group that I've started up as well um, to really, really help people kind of get the most out of it and actually general online entrepreneurship. But I'm just gonna quickly go through the sections because lots of people ask me, you know, what's it, what's in the course? How does it differ from other people? So I'm just gonna show you and you can make up your own decision. Um, introduction, just a few things, a uh, few kind of disclaimers, which I see people, uh, I see people make mistakes. So I've just kind of briefly gone over 
how you're not going to make those mistakes, right? What are you going to do so you don't make those mistakes, okay? Uh, let's just kind of watch this first part here. Um, and, and also I've put in a few videos which are, I think have been really important. Some of this stuff is UK specific, like creating a company. So feel, to feel free to pause this video and just look at some of these in, in terms of what the uh, modules are. Um, UK taxes and duty, I get asked all the time about this. So I've just, I've just detailed everything you need to know. But this is one of the biggest sections, guys. Like the most comprehensive product research strategy. I really honestly believe it is. And this is it at the moment. You can again have a look through these and just see what you think. But this is about an hour and a half to two hours long. I haven't quite ended up, but I think it's at least an hour and a half um, just on product research. And then you go down to sourcing your product again, which is another huge section. And I give you my, my exact um, strategy for um, negotiation as well. Shipping your product again, air shipping, sea shipping, shipping terms, VAT, custom duty, when to pay it, how to pay it. Um, everything that again people ask me all the time and um, some of the kind of the, the normal things you have to do like setting, setting up seller central creating shipping plans and this is the probably again one of the most important sections creating a killer product listing so really making sure that you have the best product listing to give you the best chances to making sales and converting from a pros pr prospective um, customer like a shopper to a customer okay then we go through some Amazon advertising. These are things you need to do. Um, and then some advanced techniques as well, which is pretty cool. Some things that a lot of people don't go into, especially with branding. And then I have how to get ungated in every single category. And this can be super valuable um, for you in the future. You may not want to do it for your first product, but maybe for that second or third product, you might want to get ungated to do it. You can do it for the first one, but it depends on what you want to do. And um, I've got a whole bunch of information down here, like a little summary. I'm going to add to this uh, over the weekend and a little Q&A for when people do get questions and you can become an affiliate as well. Um, but you have to be in the course to become an affiliate. So once you're in, you can ask me about that. So that's it, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go out there and use this product research strategy of just looking at things around you. Every time you buy something, just look if, look if you can private label it. Keep a note of everything. And of course, if you've liked this video, smash that like button and um, subscribe if you are not subscribed already. Turn on notifications if you have not got your notifications turned on. And leave a comment with what you think of this video. And especially if you're new to the channel, I want to I want to hear you. I want to see you in the comments um, because I love it when people comment. It really, I, you know, I, I just enjoy it massively. So hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>